Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum and good morning. How are you, dear students? Uh, welcome to the Facebook Live class on Communicative English uh, Practical Session. Do you listen to me, please? Hope you do. All right, dear students, uh, thanks once again for joining online class. Uh, okay, dear, uh, do you remember the lesson, lesson we learned the day before yesterday? Mm, absolutely, it was about integrating ICT in learning a language, but unfortunately, we have not finished the whole task due to time constraints. So let's try to recap the points why I have introduced ICT, I mean Information and Communication Technology. The purpose behind uh, introducing ICT, uh, you know, my aim is to make you self-driven uh, learner of language. <clears throat> it is uh, easy, flexible, reliable, and sustainable. You can easily practice being self-motivated anywhere, anytime. Uh, that is called acquisition, you know, I mean, natural methods of learning as we have learned our uh, native language. Okay, mm, secondly, uh, you can create and adopt your own learning style. Uh, you need not to depend on your teachers, paperwork, or anything else. And thirdly, uh, my aim is to move you forward to the digital learning so that you can prepare yourself to take challenges to survive in the 21st century world of skills. However, we want to uh, make our product market-driven with skills readiness. Okay, uh, now let's see what happens to the lecture three. All right, I hope you are watching the first slide that is communicative English uh, for all technology. Subject code is 6572. This is the practical session. This is the practical part of communicative English. We will try to uh, learn, we'll know how to learn a language uh, uh, in practical, okay? So let's see what happens to the objectives uh, of this part. Uh, there is a little bit difference between the objectives of uh, theoretical part and the practical part. So uh, let's see what happens here. Actually, uh, after completion of this uh, session or of, uh, of this practical part, uh, you will be able to develop uh, communication uh, skills if you face an encounter in your real life situations. You will become competent enough to uh, face all the encounters in real life situations, okay? Uh, and then, um, reinforce the basic skills of listening and speaking, you know, uh, that actually um, our task is to develop uh, listening skill and speaking skills, and we want to reinforce uh, these two basic skills because uh, these two skills are uh, very essential for us, okay? And then ultimately, um, we will try to use ICT as a tools in learning or to develop these two uh, skills, okay? All right, uh, this is lecture three. In today's lesson, we will focus on learning a lesson through ICT. Uh, this is the topic, topic title. Mm, and uh, at the same time, we will keep in mind that uh, we will try to develop self-motivated learning strategies, okay? Okay, dear students, don't forget to use headphones while going to listen to me because there may have some uh, problems of listening, okay? 
All right, we, I want to recap the last class. Our last class topic was uh, integrate ICTS tools in learning a language, uh, where uh, uh, the objective is to um, emphasize on the basic skills of uh, sp special emphasis on digital learning. Uh, we want to adapt with digital learning, and then we want to uh, adapt uh, the uh, self-motivated learning styles and ultimately uh, the third objective was to uh, prepare ourselves uh, um, uh, for the future challenges of uh, transition of technology uh, okay uh, so that we can survive ourselves we can prepare ourselves uh, uh, with skills readiness okay and then um, I want to skip some uh, slides today because uh, in the last class I uh, talked about a lot about this uh, slide. Uh, and then uh, definition, you have learned the definition of ICT. Uh, I am repeating. ICT uh, refers to the technologies uh, used for collecting, storing, editing and passing on information in various forms. Okay. And then uh, what are the required skills uh, and knowledge to use uh, ICT in learning? You see, of course, you need to have some basic skills of ICT. Uh, you need to have some uh, knowledge integration uh, of uh, ICT. And you should know how to select appropriate ICT tools. And uh, lastly, you, know, you should know how to develop educational software, how to use educational sub software, okay? And then, um, how to use information technology effectively if you fail to use this technology effectively? Uh, actually, I don't want to say that we, uh, it's no more, it's uh, not necessary to describe as because almost all of you are using the uh, information technology effectively as because if you are watching my lesson, that means that you are uh, using this information technology. So, uh, let's see what happens to the next slide. And the characteristics, you know, this is, as I mentioned earlier at the very beginning of my lecture today, that is, uh, it is, uh, if we, uh, it has uh, some efficiency, I mean, uh, the characteristics of ICT uh, belongs to some, um, uh, some points that uh, if, that is efficiency, effectiveness, and innovations. So let's describe about the efficiency. You see, uh, because it is very efficient uh, to use, or we can efficiently use this uh, device because it is faster, cheaper, fewer steps, less people, less paperwork. Now, how is it? You see, as you have, you are wa watching my lecture. Uh, on Facebook live class. So you are using uh, technology and uh, you are using some uh, software there. Okay, you are using some social uh, networking media. So including all these, uh, these are very easy, I think. So um, why it is effective? Because it is interactive. Fewer errors, customized, personalized, achievable, transparent, and searchable. Okay, how it is interactive? Okay, let's let me see. You can ask me some questions, uh, though it's not uh, possible directly, uh, but it can be. Okay, uh, you can uh, send me messages uh, to the uh, scroll to the comments box, or you can send me. Uh, Mm, uh, any uh, what should I say? Uh, mm, any comments or uh, any anything else? You can ask me uh, through Skype, uh, through email address, over phone. As because all the connecting, uh, uh, all the addresses is all the addresses that are given at the last slide of my presentation. So anytime, anywhere you can get connected with me. So it is very, very effective in, in uh, regarding uh, that very uh, uh, that very attempts, okay? And innovations, this is also very 
innovative because uh, we can create new products, new technology. You can do of your own. You can innovate. You can transmit. You can share. You can do all everything. Okay. So regarding this, this, uh, this is the characteristics of ICT, and that is the reason why I would like to advise you to use ICT in terms of learning uh, language because this is efficient, effective, and innovative. Okay. Okay. Uh, mm, ICT tools, you know, uh, actually this is multimedia PC, laptop, uh, notebook, digital video, still camera, internet, uh, website, search engines, uh, computer aided instructions, video conferencing, digi digital libraries, ebook, electronic publications. Okay, all right. If I ask you to uh, get connected with me, how it is possible? Of course, you uh, you you must uh, uh, use the, some platform uh, that is. Uh, it may be social media. It may be uh, cell phone. It may be email uh, address or it may be Skype. So it depends on um, on the use. Uh, it depends on uh, how, what what media you want to uh, use to get connected with somebody else. Okay. So uh, these are called uh, ICT tools, right? So what? Let me see. Uh, let us see what uh, are the advantages of ICT. Amra kiki shuvida nite pari ei ICT bebar kore. We can share our resources. Okay. Suppose you want to write a paragraph. Okay. Now instantly you want to get connected with me and uh, you can ask me to uh, uh, see the uh, see your uh, articles. Okay. Instantly I can see it overnight and I can uh, pass some opinions. Okay, I can uh, give you some um, suggestions. Okay, this, this it may happens instantly. So this is the advantage. Okay, great advantage. You can share your your resources anytime, any moment. Okay, what variety of services? Okay, it has a, a multi-purpose services. You know, uh, it is flexible, uh, flexible, uh, flexible. It has flexibility. See. Uh, suppose I am not in the physical class. I am in my home. You are in. You are staying in your home. Okay. You are uh, or you are uh, traveling to somewhere else. Uh, on the way, you can write a paragraph, or you can uh, consult with uh, in, uh, anything else about learning a language. I can give you feedback. Okay. It is reliable, faster speed, and cheaper cost. Okay. All right. Uh, go for the next influence of ICT in learning. How ICT can influence you to use this uh, technology, okay, in terms of learning a language, right? So you see, ICT provides interactive learning experiences. Uh, as I mentioned, that uh, how it can be interactive and it, it stimulates and motivates to learn. Okay, you can use this. Uh, uh, you can. Uh, do the activities once more using this technology. Okay, it provides comfortable learning. Comfortable means you can learn anytime, anywhere, uh, any moment. So it is comfortable. It aids to understand difficult concepts. Okay, suppose nowadays you are the uh, digital generations. Okay, uh, so. Um, if you don't understand anything, you can ask the Google. He will give you the suggestions what to do. Okay, and ultimately you can uh, solve the problem, any difficult problem. Okay, so it's, it 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 helps you to understand difficult concepts. It creates, uh, sorry, it caters to different learning styles. Okay, mm, there are a lot of learning styles. There are a lot of learning strategies. You can choose whatever you like. Okay, you can develop your own learning styles. 
and ICT helps to gain valuable computer skills. Okay, and at the same time, not only we are using this uh, technology for the purpose of learning languages, at the same time, we are uh, generating, we are developing uh, basic skills of uh, computer. Okay, and uh, Lastly, ICT aids in collaborations and group work. You know, uh, this is very very effective. Uh, you can, if you see the image, the uh, kids are learning uh, something um, in uh, collaborating with their friends, with their uh, community members, with their teachers in a group. So it is very very effective, and it is only. Uh, um, uh, become easy it, it, it becomes easy only uh, uh, with the help of the ICT okay and you know multimedia applications in learning uh, so far I know that we have finished the theoretical part and in theoretical part uh, in my different lectures I try to use multimedia applications I try to make you understand using multimedia applications, okay? And here you see also used many multimedia applications, okay? And video conferencing is very popular nowadays and uh, each and every day you are watching. If you, use, if you use social media, then you will see this type of scenario uh, repeatedly, okay? So I think that it's uh, very easy. Uh, to understand and it is you are concerned about this okay different e-learning experience how we can experience different different electronic learning okay it may be online students group as I uh, advise you to uh, chat with your friends in English uh, to uh, at the same time I advised you to share your documents to your uh, to your friends to your teachers or uh, to your uh, near and dear ones uh, so uh, you can create online group students group uh, to get connected with your friends or you can uh, get connected with your teachers online mm, what is happening here okay I'm lecturing online so uh, mm, you can interact with me anytime okay and then online counseling if you need any help uh, regarding um, our learning language or regarding learning language or in your personal uh, matters you can ask me you can consult with me you can share with me okay and then online libraries and resource centers okay it is uh, great that uh, nowadays we do not go for any physical library or uh, to the um, bookshops, okay? You will get every documents, everything, every text, every articles uh, online, okay? In the digital library. So you can copy, you can paste, you can read, you can uh, listen, you can do whatever you like, okay? Okay, this is uh, the main focus of our today's lecture uh, what is uh, that is why ICT in learning can I am ICT babar kurchi she be sure I'm not okay to the body what are the reasons behind what are the advantages what are the flexibilities what are the reliabilities okay okay you see uh, at the uh, right uh, part of the slide uh, your left you see mm, some mm, images are there uh, okay British Council YouTube uh, what uh, about dot com uh, LinkedIn Twitter Facebook Microsoft these are the platform you can use uh, for uh, developing uh, your language skills okay so let's see what happens um, uh, why ICT in learning? Why we will uh, go for using ICT in learning? Okay, first, authentic digital resources. Okay, all right, if you want to practice speaking skills, you can go to the British Council, 
they have uh, mm, uh, they have kept some open version for the students uh, uh, to uh, to practice you can go there you can get registered there and you can practice there and then uh, medium to trans uh, transit knowledge okay using uh, social media we can uh, transmit uh, our now we can share our knowledge with anybody else and then means of interaction dialogue okay you can uh, interact with your uh, friends teachers okay and then recognized worldwide okay do you have any um, doubt about the uh, uh, resources that is that are passed by the british council of learning language okay perhaps not because they are uh, the organization the organization who are teaching language i mean teaching english all over the world so this is this uh, websites or these platforms are recognized worldwide so you can use this uh, uh, use these websites without hesitation okay this is uh, authentic this is uh, reliable okay and self motivated learning you know you can learn anytime any place anywhere okay and instant solution as i mentioned at the very beginning of my lecture that if you want to know something you can ask help to the uh, google uh, if you uh, write uh, your problems he will give you a lot of solution he will give you a solution okay or the way of getting solution if you cannot write you can just speak out what do you want to know from the google so you can get instant solution and besides we have lot of ways of getting instant solution i will let you see in my future lecture okay all right instruments and platforms you know it actually if we want to use uh, ict in learning a language we no need two uh, two things one is hardware and the other is software okay this is uh, the platform uh, integrated uh, all softwares in one platform that is web2 right uh, here you will get twitter you will get facebook you will get flickr you will get youtube you will get uh, most of the platforms that are uh, considered uh, uh, interactive or the media or the platform that is used for uh, learning sharing collaborating okay so you can use this platform uh, as the media and at the same time at the same time you can use this hard tools to connect, get connected with this uh, software or with this media okay all right here you are uh, you see that uh, you are watching to uh, important popular and famous uh, persons uh, and uh, why i i have just given these two images because i love their way of uh, their speaking so i want to advise you to try to adapt the body language of this uh, to person because english is a very smart language if you speak english smartly then it looks uh, awesome okay so try to adapt the body language of this two person while they go for speaking in public okay mm, they are very smart you see all right uh, uh, as i mentioned that today uh, we will learn Now uh, uh, we will learn a lesson um, through or using ICT. Okay, where we will try to apply multimedia applications. Uh, um, what should I say? Images and many more. Okay, digital resources. Okay, okay. You. This is a sample. Uh, this is a sample task. How we can. Mm, learn a task using uh, 
ICT information and communication technology. Okay, suppose you see you don't know uh, the very uh, words that are given, but with the images, with the matching of the images, you can easily understand. You need not to uh, look up the words in the dictionary. Okay, if I ask you uh, the meaning of a word that is paternal uncle or paternal aunt, you can easily understand what does it mean, how to make sense. Okay, so these are the reason why I am using uh, uh, images, a uh, multimedia application uh, to learn uh, language. Okay, so let's see family tree. So you can easily understand we are going to talk about our family. Uh, and then uh, here, uh, let's talk with uh, Niharika. Okay, uh, Niharika is a uh, mm, uh, worldwide language speaker. Uh, he's a native speaker. Uh, he used to teach his online English teacher. He used to teach uh, English language, uh, communicative language. And if you want to learn something from Nik Niharika, you can just go to the YouTube and search Let's Talk. Okay. Ultimately, you will get a lot of lessons there. I mean, uh, about family, introducing myself, making friendships, ordering coffee, shop, shopping, asking for directions, job interview. So that is the reason why I suggested you to make your own learning style of language and you can develop it. And it is only possible, only possible using ICT, information and communication technology. Okay. All right, um, you can ask me, sir, we only learn, but how you can uh, test ourselves, how we can test our level, what uh, we learn from, uh, from, from, uh, from net, okay? So, all right, uh, you will get a lot of websites, you will get a lot of uh, media to check your understanding. Here, I have developed my own uh, my own own activity I have just uh, given here if you see uh, let's see for a um, second I'm just uh, if it is possible I don't know uh, so let's see okay you will get a video here you will get uh, time is getting up you will get a video here how Niharika is uh, giving our briefing about uh, talking about a family and after listening um, you can uh, sit for the evaluation if you fill up the uh, forms uh, getting the information from his uh, uh, lecture then ultimately you can uh, calculate yourself you can evaluate yourself okay so um, if I get time I will let you see okay all right. Uh, if you want to, um, if you want to enjoy my lecture once more, then you have to keep watching and get connected with the following uh, address. That is www.skills.gov.bd. At the same time, you can uh, enjoy this uh, lecture uh, in. DT, uh, yes, our DT is uh, telecasting uh, or broadcasting these uh, lectures also. You can go there and you can enjoy the uh, lectures. Okay, uh, thank you uh, so much for your kind presence with me for the last 30 minutes. And uh, let me see what happens to the video. Lastly, you can enjoy it if it is possible.
Okay, all right, dear students. Uh, uh, I have just uh, given you the example how you can develop your uh, listening uh, task uh, using or getting uh, get connected with the online teachers. You can uh, search and easily you can get connected with this type of online teacher and you can develop uh, your uh, listening skill, speaking skills using uh, and these websites, okay? So thank you so much uh, for uh, watching my lecture.